So, hey there, fellows. Here is what we'll be doing in this one. This is an, um, interesting idea that a bunch of viewers suggested we try. Hey, if people want to see this so bad, we're uh, happy to oblige. And here's what we got. Right here I have got a brake rotor. It's nice and fresh, looking all good. And also I've got three brake calipers. They're actually for a front-wheel drive Lada Samara. And uh, here's what we'll be doing. We got a lot of requests to try fitting two, three calipers to one corner, and to even put them around the entire perimeter. Now that, I mean surrounding the entire rotor, we won't be able to pull that off. The reason being we've uh, got suspension bits. Links, ball joints and such. They're definitely gonna get in the way. But I do think we can fit at least two or maybe even three of them. Then we'll of course proceed to test how the brakes perform, and apparently this should improve them. So yeah, let's throw everything together and head to the test track. This won't be easy to piece together, but we'll get there. Let's do this. Three calipers for each brake rotor. What will happen? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check this out, guys. At the end of the day... Wait, why did I grab this again? The amount of calipers we can fit to one rotor amounts to three. That's the limit. We literally cannot fit any more of them. As we expected, the ball joint is getting in the way. Also on the steering knuckle, you've um, got the bracket to which you attach the strut. But in any case, we can fit three calipers to one corner. As you can see, we did have to make a plate. And this is very different compared to stock. There you'd have the mounting points over here, whereas now the calipers will be mounted right here. Because we're also going to be running uh, this sort of spacer. Oh, there are some markings. Great, 24 millimeters. From here, the assembly process continues. We'll fit the calipers themselves. That did require a bit of additional work. This was subject to a bit of machining. We did have to correct the thickness of this bracket, but it's alright. That's not gonna affect anything. This will still operate to the full 107%. Okay, now we throw everything together and uh, see what comes out of it. All right, we've made this work, and look here. This is how we were able to fit three calipers to one rotor. Again, here we have the ball joint, which wouldn't have been easy to work around. It's pretty much impossible to fit a caliper, all because of the brake cylinder containing the piston. It protrudes quite a bit in that direction. I mean, you're not going to mount it inverted, are you? Though you probably could if you run a bunch of spacers. But that's not what we're going for. We want to stick as close to stock as we can. We've already got a spacer underneath the rotor, but it's fine. 
And so we've got these three calipers, and with the help of a T-piece, Bear in mind that the brake lines on a front-wheel drive Lada are much different compared to those used on a rear drive model. Here it's all diagonal, which makes the whole thing a lot simpler. Which is quite nice. So yeah, we got um, three calipers fitted to one rotor, it's all good. Now let us finalize the system, yeah, let's carry on. Okay, we are at the test track, it's all good. And right here, you'll see we have the whole three caliper deal. Though at the moment only one of them is operational, so we're essentially running uh, stock brakes. And so now we're gonna accelerate like normal, and hopefully I have enough room to get up to 80 k's. The braking will start at the cones, and I'm obviously going to be using full braking. So yeah, I'll be braking with full force while trying to keep the wheels from locking up. Even if there is a slight discrepancy, no big deal. Okay, one caliper per wheel, let the testing begin. Here we go. Oh, okay. That's the wrong gear. And we're off. I don't understand what that was all about. Okay, so the first run uh, didn't go well. I forgot that you're supposed to use the brakes and, uh, well, break them in. I have now. They work just fine. Let's go for it. Here we go. What up? It didn't seem to me like they were locking up. I think we're fine. 140, holy cow! I didn't feel it deviating to the right or to the left. It was going dead straight. And that is quite a bit of distance. I'd say it's about 40 meters. Second attempt on single caliper. I see him. All right, we seem to have a baseline. The stopping distance is quite considerable, and it's all down to us blocking off the rear brakes. That's to say that they are not doing anything at the moment. And here we see the distance required for the car to stop on stock brakes, from 80 kilometers an hour. So this is where it stops, and now... The temperature of the rotor got up to 90 degrees Celsius. And now uh, let's activate uh, one more caliper per wheel and uh, see what that changes. We've activated two more calipers, pumped and bled the system. It's all good, the brakes are fully operational, and uh, let's head out. 80. What can I tell you? Get a reading. That was very hard. What is with the pedal, man? What's up? 112. 112? So it got hotter this time. A bit, it used to be 90. Yeah, so it went up by 22 degrees. 22 degrees might not seem like all that much, but in certain situations it can be quite significant. And I do actually think that I I might have slightly, I might have been a bit sloppy. 80. I was not expecting such an effect. I hit the pedal quickly in order for the brakes to activate immediately, hoping that they'd react straight away. 
And I think I might have overdone it, which I didn't understand immediately. Because I pressed the pedal, the wheels locked up, I figured something is wrong, that prompted me to let off, though not fully. And yeah, even though it was for short intervals, but the wheels were locking up on me. That being said, I actually think that the brake pedal uh, has become much more pleasant to modulate. All you have to do is give it a slight push, and braking goes from 0 to 107%, like, um, pretty much straight away. Second attempt, dual calipers. About the same as last time. And so apparently, if I'm being honest, it is super difficult to hit the sort of sweet spot. So 90 this time? Everything is good? Well, that's nice. The pedal has become so sensitive that um, all you need to do is slightly overcook it to get the wheels to lock up. The wheels were very eager to lock up and skid. Yeah, it was not easy to get the right pressure going. This doesn't have ABS, unfortunately. But now let's uh, hook up another caliper per wheel. We'll get everything up and running. And then we'll see what happens when you got three calipers working on each side. Okay, let's do this. And we've gotten to the interesting part. That's three calipers for each front rotor, the left and the right. And now let's put it all to the test. Now, I have done a bit of driving, and even the slightest input is enough to stop the car. Okay, well, how is this going to break from 80 kilometers an hour? Let's find out, shall we? Seventy-seven, seventy-eight. 80. Yeah, well, that was definitely my bad, because on this setup, it has become very difficult to feel out the bite point, to get a feel for how the brakes work. 80. I let just a teeny tiny bit of pressure off the pedal, and the car immediately lunges forward. As in the brakes, they completely stop working. And I put a tiny bit of pressure back on, and they lock up. That is not good at all. 80. Second attempt on triple calipers. This has become really hard. Finding the... Finding the balance... I tried pressing it smoothly, but I still went really far. What's with the temperature? A hundred? Well, it's staying about the same. Around a hundred degrees. That was very hard. So here's the situation, guys. This time it was even worse. I didn't give it a stab, just a push, but it's still... First off, there was a dip, well, I mean, by dip I mean to say we're running six calipers up front, right? But at the end of the day, the master cylinder has uh, got just two lines coming off of it. That is a lot of volume, and it's fine working with four of them, but six, uh, not so much. The pedal was sinking really deep into the floor, and on top of that, the pedal response was just weird throughout its entire range of travel. 
When you give it a slight push, you can feel the car begin to stop, but then you continue to push it and uh, nothing is really happening. So nothing is happening, but then at the very end when it's already on the floor, that's when you hit the threshold. And it is very tricky. If you press even slightly too hard, you lock up the brakes. A tiny lack of pressure and you're not braking. And at the end of the day, you'd think that three calipers would have been better, but apparently the master cylinder just doesn't have the volume to be able to work all of them. These were a handful, man. The best configuration, as far as I see it, was when we had just the two calipers on each side. They were fairly easy to use, plus the brakes themselves were quite effective. So yeah, the car was more eager to stop. Yeah, guys, you asked for it, we made it happen, and those are the results. Try this out for yourself if you're in disbelief. Yeah, this was quite interesting. And those are the results, that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. And that's it for this video, catch you guys later.